Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 1819 Panini Court Kings Basketball. Four box, random team break number seven. One spot gets you three teams. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. So let's triple you up. One, two, three. And all 30 are in. Let's randomize each list. Six and a three, nine times. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, Miles Lacey Jr. down to Garrett Strauss. A couple of Garretts in this break. Six and a three, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Good luck after nine times. And ninth and final time. After nine times, we got the Kings on top. I thought I pressed the button. Trailblazers on the bottom. And Miles Lacey Jr., Kings for you. Virgilio Timberwolves, Scott with the Clip Show. Virgilio with the Suns. Garrett Kerr with the Grizz. Virgilio with the Pistons, Scott, Celtics, and my Lakers. Look at this. Rivalry mojo. Miles, you got the uh, Nets. Matt Stone with the Bucks. Chris, you got the Rockets. Scott with the Magic. Garrett Kerr with the Pelicans. Rick, Mavs, and Knicks. Matt Stone with the Nuggets. Miles, Jazz, Chris, Hornets, Garrett Strauss, Cavs, Scott McNulty, Thunder, Cody, Pacers, and Heat. Strauss with the Bulls. Cody with the Sixers. Chris with the Hawks. Rick Barker with the Wiz. You're a wizard, Rick. Garrett Kerr with the Warriors. Matt with the Raptors, Scott with the Spurs, and Strauss, you have the Portland Trailblazers. Let's alphabetize by team. And let's figure out which two boxes or which stack of boxes we're going to do. So this is our last bit of Court Kings right here for random teams. We only have that pick your team left that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And then that's it. For now, that's it. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be one. I'm going to do that left side right here. We'll save that. We'll probably be able to do this tonight. Any trades? No, it does not look like there's any trades. And it looks like definitive baseball. It's down at 12 already. Nice. So that'll be happening after this guy here. Which will be done in about 5-10 minutes. Nice. So thanks to Mark, Ryan, Ryan, two Ryans, Joe P again, and Chad B. Sounds like they are the, the culprits involved in getting definitive down to 12. 27.99 gets you five random players each. We can do another one of these. We can do the final four boxes of this. Court Kings also already available on the site. One spot gets you three teams. So this is random team seven. Good luck, folks. Good luck, good luck, good luck. All right, Dwight Howard. We got one out of 99, out of 199, that is, Gary Clark Jr. And the uh, Dwight Howard is to 99. Redemption. And then we've got Roni Cycli. For the Miami Heat. That'll be for Cody. He's a DJ now, from what I hear. Out of 99. Redemption. Kurks. I think that's how you say his name. For the Brooklyn Nets. Miles with Last Bond Mojo. 
Wait, what? There's a debate whether Rookie of the Year is going to go to Luka or Trey Young? It's Luka Doncic. Easy. Is it a slow, slow news week in basketball? I, I guess it is before the playoffs. Trey Young has had a fine season. No doubt about it. You know, I think it'll be interesting to see how their careers parallel each other over the years. But, and I think Trey Young just fits. I don't know if he'd play as well if he was with Dallas. I think the Atlanta Hawks team fits Trey Young very well. I think it was. I think it's one of the rare times where I think both parties, I think, kind of won. You know, kind of got exactly what they needed. And um, and even more importantly. The the Hawks picked up an extra an extra draft pick. There's Mitchell Robinson to 199. Marvin Bagley, level three, and Alonzo Trier. But yeah, but uh, rookie of the year, that's going to be that's going to be Luka Doncic. That should be pretty easy. There's DeAnthony Melton out of 199. Yeah, thanks Rory. Yeah, what Rory just said, Drew. If you look in your item description, you'll see where to go for that video. And there's Darren Collison. High court signatures. Awesome. See you, Drew. Thank you. Good luck on that other break. Um, out of 99, Darren Collison, Pacers. Cody Passmore with that. Can work on that autograph a little bit, right? All right, two boxes to go. Roar, uh, Joe P. Rory's saying Giannis locked up the MVP tonight. Joe P. fires back with overrated. Joe P., you think Giannis is overrated? I mean, I think he's kind of rated right where he needs to be. If not him, then who? I guess James Harden. There's Kevin Love to 199. Mitchell Robinson, Nikola Miritich to 99. No, Jofi's Jofi's just trying to get under Rory's skin. Yeah, Giannis is pretty good, he says, but Rory's biased. DeAndre Ayton autograph. It is 103 out of 199. Heir apparent for the Phoenix Suns. That goes to Virgilio. Nice, Virgilio. What up, James? What are you, my KD to the Knicks? Good for him? Yeah, that apparently is a thing, right? That KD is pretty locked locked into... That's what everyone's saying. KD's going go to go to the New York Knicks. There's Max uh, Maxi Kleber for the Mavs. High court signatures. Uh, Rick Barker with the Mavs. Um... If that's where KD wants to go, you know, that's I can't knock that, right? But if 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 I were him, if I were in his position of of, of leverage, that organization front office wise and all that, there's just so many uh, like fundamental things that are wrong with that organization that would make me kind of not want to go there. Originally, uh LeBron and Dwayne Wade were going to try to when they made that super team in Miami, they originally were thinking about the New York Knicks, but once they took meetings with the front office and the ownership and all that, they were like, uh, <laughs> they're like, you know, they didn't want that, you know, so they forget it. So they, they, they hooked up with Pat Riley and Spolstra down in, um, down in Miami. Is that not, that's not about so, if he wants to take that risk, I guess. I mean, he's got enough. He's made the money he's wanted to make. You know, he's won the he's 
won the chips that he wanted to win. So I guess he can, at this point, he's built enough credibility to do, go wherever he wants and, and try to rebuild whatever team he wants to rebuild. But that you're right, Eric Bailey. Knicks has no, nothing to offer. When's the last time they were relevant? I don't know. I mean, they can offer money, I guess. They, and, and if KD wants to go, but that's not because the Knicks have convinced KD. It's just because K, that's where KD wanted to go. <laughs> not because the Knicks sold the Knicks to KD. You know what I mean? Sold them on it. I don't know. I mean, hey, if there's Kevin Huter out of 25 for the Atlanta Hawks. If Kevin Durant delivers a chip to the Knicks, he'll be a legend for the rest of his life in New York in such a huge market like that. He'll be beloved in New York entirely. But is it going to happen? I don't know. They always seem to make the wrong decision front office-wise, draft-wise, coaching-wise. You know, ownership always has issues with, like, former players. and so, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's weird. That would not be like a, a, unless Kevin Durant wants that challenge. Maybe he does. Is Bez Bezos really buying the Knicks, Rory? There's Rodney Hood, 33 out of 49 for the Cavs. And that'll be for Garrett Strauss. And there you go, folks. Court Kings in the books. Good basketball chatter at the end right there. Random Team 7. More hoops talk, more breaks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.